Right. Hello. Hello. First of all, congratulations, because you've bought a new car. Your SVR's gone. Yeah, gone. And you've bought a new car, which is right behind me. I'm sure most people have already seen your video. But I thought I'd just give my audience a little walk around. Oh, you've bought well, an MA I've comp. I've bought an MA comp, yeah. Yeah, and sure. th we came to see this one because this is the first time you've actually seen an M8, isn't it? Yeah, this is the first. Well, I've seen obviously lots of videos and stuff online, and then I wanted to see one in person. Obviously, to realise what I bought. So, called Tony at TRL. He's just doing that. Hello, Tony. <laughs> Hello. And uh, yeah, he said that he had literally a black one down there, so we come down and see it. Yeah, awesome. Well, look, I think this is the best looking BMW currently on the market. These lights, we've been geeking out over these for a while, haven't we? Have. They are so cool and very um, Instagram friendly, aren't they? <laughs> but this guy is. Sorry? How you like to hate to get more lights on Instagram? Yeah, definitely. It is a thing. But this is, so it's an M8 comp. Now in the UK, all of them are competitions for now. Now what that means is you get a bit of extra power. This is 625 horsepower, 750 newton meters of torque. So it's got a load, load, load of torque, which makes it un... Oh, I don't even know it's my car. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got so much torque, which makes it so fast. Now, officially, 3.2 to 60. But, uh, I, well, we reckon and we know that it can go faster than that. This can do sub 3 do, second, sub 0 to 60 seconds. times, which is just unbelievable. I mean, that's faster than most supercars, really, isn't it? Um, it's got, so it's got these comp wheels, which are very nice. Now, everything completely blacked out on this one. The only main option it has is the sound system inside, the Bowers and Wilkins sound system. That is how much? 4,000? 750. 4,750, there we go. So a very expensive system, but apart from that, oh, camera's completely out of focus, there we go, we're back. Apart from that, the car is pretty much standard, so it gives us a good idea of the, the options that come standard on this car. Tinted glass, yeah, yeah, that's an option. But I mean, because this is the most expensive BMW currently, you do get a lot of things standard. I think it's really cool how you get, you know, the black exhaust tips, you get black all over the place, and this little winglet back here is really nice finished in black as well. You've got the blue brake calipers right there, as you can see, and yeah, no, genuinely, I I think this is such a good looking car. It is a big car, but you told me it's the same length as the Grand Coupe, right? <laughs> yeah, there we go. So yeah. apparently same length as the Grand Coupe. Yeah, so the doors they make a lot smaller, the front doors. Add a second door here, kind of extend everything, and then you have a four-door version, but it doesn't look anywhere near as good as the coupe, does it? No, we don't actually know how to put the bonnet down. Properly, yeah, the bonnet's still up a little bit, but that's okay. The Really? <laughs> oh, you lift it all the way up and then slam it back down. Well, while well, you guys do that. I car, which is not mine. Yeah, I mean, while you can... guys, oh, here we go. Now you can buy the engine first. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, twin turbo, V8, 625 horsepower, as we mentioned. Now, it's actually quite far back, isn't it? I mean, look at all of this, not really being used. But then, uh, that's for the center of, okay, it is. Yeah, no, it's very, very it's cool. 50-50 weight distribution. Oh, awesome. Like a racing driver. Yeah. There you go. But you no, know, it's got look, little bits of carbon all over. Now, all the carbon that's on this car is standard. So there's no extra carbon options on this. This is a beautiful spec. Now, you've got, what do we have? We've got on the exterior here, we've got a carbon roof and then the carbon inside. Oh, wow. That was, Tony, that was very smooth. <laughs> <laughs> that was very smooth. Now, I'm just going to show this front grille, which is a massive entrance is there. You can actually see the radiator back there. But a lot more open, a lot more beefy, and a lot more angled than it has been in the past. And then you've got these honeycomb massive air intakes around front as well. Should we look at the inside? Let's have a look. Now, I'm personally not a massive fan of this color inside. I would go maybe potentially darker. Now, you're going to do a full spec reveal at some point, aren't you? Yeah, there will be, yeah. I'm not doing that interior. As much as you're not doing like this one. Bad. It's very nice. I mean, I it's really nice. I don't buying it, but it is cool. But I, I, um, I want the whole light interior vibe. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm similar to you. But some people love the contrast that this brings. So someone will absolutely love this spec. Now you got the contrast stitching. You have got this kind of 3D effect going on around the doors here. You got that very expensive Bowers and Wilkins sound system there. But it must sound incredible. And because this is the top of the range BM, you've got everything you kind of touch has this incredible feel of quality. So here on these entrance plates. You've got M8 competition, carbon core, and little details like the seat belts with the M colors on them or the stitching around the steering wheel with the colors. Absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to get in. Let me just remove the key so I don't sit on it. When we get in, you are welcomed by this very beefy M steering wheel. They're always pretty fat and nicely sized. Fully finished in leather and a completely digital dash. Now we actually pressed this button, start start button earlier to hear the sound and that allowed us to see this dash a little bit. So here's a clip of that.
now that we've seen that, this steering wheel. So, heated steering wheel, standard, heated seats, standard. However, you can get as an option, also, heated armrest. Well, I mean, that does seem a little bit excessive. So, it comes on both sides, armrest on this side and that side, completely heated. That is above this, uh, what do you call that? No, it's not the glove box, center console, and it's storage cabinet there. And yeah, so this steering wheel, as I say, standard heated. Now, it's got very interesting buttons, two interesting buttons right there, but it's also got the paddles, which have an incredible sense of quality, like the rest of the interior on this car. Now, these two buttons, M1, M2, what are they? Effectively, they're shortcuts to setup that you can do yourself. So you can choose things like if you want the exhaust open, suspension hard, weight of the steering, speed of the gear shift, all of these things, you can choose to have two presets. So one, for example, comfort cruising in town, two, let's go mental on some B roads. So that's actually really nice, because all you do is you just press these, and then you're good to go. So that's a really, really nice detail, and it's just a simple design steering wheel, but it feels really nice, and everything is kind of where you need it. You, I've got small hands, but you can press the M2 button straight from there, change up, really, really nice. Alcantara headlining, don't know if you can see that necessarily, but really, really nice, standard as well. And as I mentioned, all of this carbon, which is lovely. Really nice quality feeling pieces here as well. The weave is really, really nice, as you'd expect. Obviously, heated seats, as I said, all of your climate controls here, and this massive screen, which is controlled through this little spinning wheel here, which I don't know if you can tell the finish on that. Again, quality, and that's actually touch as well, so you can type in any um, uh, like navigation destinations and stuff through that. It's quite nice. New uh, gear lever as well right there. So no, I think this interior is very nice. Everything is slightly tilted towards the driver, so it shows kind of the intention of this car. As a passenger, you're extremely comfortable in this car. Now you can see these seats, which are also really comfy and quite sporty with Alcantara finishes around there on the bolstering. Then you got the obviously leather with the contrast color there and this one's still got the sticker on it but this m8 here is uh, it brightens up it's a it's a light so there's all these daytime running lights that go around here and look really nice at night and this m8 logo is one of them now i'm just gonna call archie can you help me demonstrate the rear leg room yep. please thank you if you want to hop in yeah one for his french channel one for his german channel <laughs> If you want to hop in there, so the seat automatically moves forward. Well, I'll, I'll film you do it. You get Film in. me. Okay. Everyone knows that I'm not the biggest bloke in the world. That's all right. So I put this back <laughs> and it should come back and stop once it feels my knees. Ready? Oof. Yeah, now that's very tight. Now look, yeah. I'm back here. That is a close driving position, right? So... Yes. Do you want to film me in there? Yeah, I can film you in there. No worries. So yeah, you're fairly close there, aren't you? Fairly close. Not ideal, but it's not the car that you would have passengers in. We were just talking about this, me and Tony actually as well. It is It is a typical car where you would have two of you in it. Yeah, and then if... It's not, it's like when you buy a 911. Do you buy a 911 and then think you can get people in the back? No, 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 definitely not. Really. not. But so it if is you have nice, to whack someone yeah. in the back, then you do. If you're like driving back from dinner and it's a little short drive and you need to put people in the back, you can, but it's not particularly comfortable. I mean, I'm, again, not a very tall guy and I don't yeah, have much leg room. And I'm even, I'm touching the, the roof here. So that's when the Grand Coupe maybe comes in and is a little bit more interesting. But, but, but yeah, but you, you, okay, with the Grand Coupe you get, what would you prefer? A little bit more leg room in the back, like, but it's not loads. Yeah. Just so you know, it's not like an RS6 type thing. Or you have the coupe where you have longer doors, it looks better, and it's more like a two seater. Yeah, definitely. I know the coupe. And 100%. we were actually just saying, me and Tony, you might as well just go and buy an M5 comp if you're going to buy a Grand Coupe because yeah. it's the same car effectively. Yeah, 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 agreed. So, yeah, I would get the coupe. It depends on your lifestyle, really. But I mean, these cars are fairly pricey, aren't they? This is £120,000. This is one twenty. yeah. Yeah, they'll probably depreciate a little bit. We're not going to lie, but... We will talk... Uh, all, to, all to be revealed how that's going to happen. But all yeah. to be revealed, but there are some really interesting deals, like, for example, through Tony. So... Uh, Tony's Instagram will be here and just you can contact him if you're interested in basically any BMW, right? M He's got the Tony best. is the M135i Master. Yeah. If you want M135i's, if you want... 399 a month? 399, 399 a month for an M135i. I mean... Get 399 two. a month yeah. and you get an M135i and it's 399 deposit down. So... Yeah. And they're quick. Smash they're my quick. 35 in a drag race, so that's all good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyways, can you um, can you let me out? Yeah, I can that? let you out now. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. No worries. Thank you very much, Archie. That is pretty much the tour. I'm, hang, hang on, I am letting you out. Yes, I, well, I'm trying to get out, but you're Oh, is that as far in. as it goes? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, we're out. That is a tour of the M8. Archie, congratulations on yet another car. You've been buying cars like crazy, but I mean, you well, deserve I'm it. I'm coming to my collection, my other 
your arrival, which is here in two weeks. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure when this video may be out in a while. Maybe in a week. Or maybe, maybe I'm collecting it tomorrow. Maybe it's tomorrow. Could be but anyway, tomorrow. yeah. There's a there's a there's a new car coming before the M8 comes. But the M8, I wanna I wanna do some cool stuff, some cool drag races, some cool track content. So just cool you stuff. definitely can. You have it's to come, a very, on, have to come on a track day with it. We'll have to come on a track day. We did yeah. one with the GT3 RS, but also I want to come to the collection of this car. Of what well, your we'll come version back of Tony. the M8. Uh, but yeah, Tony, thank you very much. Nice. Everyone, go follow Tony, whose Instagram, who, everything will be down below. And of course, Archie and his channel, he's gonna be making plenty more videos with this. But thank you for watching, as per usual, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Cheers, bye bye.